A Fox News alert. I'm Greg Jarrett. Seven people dead, including a gunman at a Sikh temple in Oak Creek, uh, Wisconsin. That is just south of Milwaukee on Lake Michigan. Uh, it happened this morning, uh, the first 911 call at around 1025 local time, Wisconsin. Uh, reports of a gunman opening fire in the temple. Several people have been injured, three at a local hospital in critical condition. One is in surgery. Again, four people dead inside the temple. Three outside are dead, including the gunman, who was shot by a police officer, apparently the first to arrive at the scene, who himself was shot multiple times by the gunman, uh, but was able to get off a round even after the officer was hit, killing the gunman. Um, we heard a moment ago from the chief of police in Greenfield nearby, who was acting as the spokesperson for this incident, saying that they believe the gunman is down, um, is dead, and uh, they do not believe at this time, they don't have any further information about a second gunman. Back to Harris Faulkner at the breaking news desk. But Harris, uh, the SWAT team is still inside the temple, and I suppose they're still trying to uh, rule out any second gunman. Well, and, and find people who might possibly uh, be hiding at this point. We mentioned earlier closets, any place where they could crouch down and stay out of the way of bullets. And, Greg, now we're starting to understand a little bit better why this is such a fluid and active scene. Uh, imagine this. There are three people dead on the outside of this temple. As police are arriving, we don't know what order in which they found the victims, but there are four people dead inside the temple. So these are, in police terms, different types of crime scenes and so they don't know if they're looking for more than one person until they can ferret that out and go room by room hall by hall closet by closet hopefully coming across people who are just crouched and hiding and not injured uh, but they want to make sure that they know that there's not another gunman now what we learned from the news conference that wrapped up just moments ago was that they don't have a reason to believe that they're looking for a second shooter at this point but they have to to treat this as an active scene because of those two different locations of victims at this point. Uh, and, and Greg, you know, I, I want to say is some of the witness reports were coming in and we weren't sure what to believe because, it, you know, we know from covering these scenes, but certainly not as victims ourselves, that it's hard sometimes to know if a, if a witness was calm enough to really know what they were looking at. Some of the witnesses were pretty spot on with what they thought they saw in terms of counting victims and that is tremendously sad that means that there are people who watched other people perish and that will certainly unfold and become part of the investigation in the hours and days to come